Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel where we speak life. Speak what you seek until you see what you said. My name's Deb. If you're new here, welcome. My channel revolves around Christ, loving people, modesty, medicine, military. If any of that interests you, go ahead and subscribe to the channel so you guys can get updated on latest videos that come out and click that bell icon so that you guys can get video notifications like these. Today, it's been long overdue. I'm doing another modest lookbook. You guys have been requesting it. I have been slacking in it. As you can see, my like I'm not in the process of moving, but I'm being proactive. Let's just say that I am applying to PA school. I'm trying to get rid of some things so you don't have my I don't have my bed. This is my guest bedroom, and I moved my beautiful mirror from the living room up here so that I can do these videos and you guys can get a full look of what's about to go down. But enough of that said, let's get started. So um, originally I was like, oh, I can do a bunch of outfits like I've done before, but I really wanted to do a one look outfit that you can kind of switch around multiple times. So I am wearing a basic white dress and I want to show you guys how you can style it to make it your own, to make it different, to make it suitable for church or suitable to just go out to eat with friends or really just to hang out with friends. I mean, there's uh, formal and casual, I'm gonna be wearing heels, sneakers, sandals, whatever comes to your mind. I just want you guys to get an idea of how one dress can go a long way. So I chose the solid color white. Um, it is summertime, so I would say go with your creams, your whites, your yellows, your um, even like mint green, like the one I'm wearing right now, um, even tan. I know that kind of screams fall, but that's a different video where I can use this dress to also make fall looks formal and casual. So I hope you guys appreciate this video and I will try to link everything that I've got. Um, but some of them I bought at the store and some of them I don't really remember getting them. So please bear with me. So in these videos, I'm going to be wearing a base white dress that I got from H&M. You can pick whatever color. It should work the same way. If you have not gone to your local H&M, go. Uh, don't even walk. Run. They're having a huge summer sale because they're trying to get their back to school stuff in. And so I got this dress for $9. Okay, so please just go. So the first outfit I'm wearing, I just threw on this green blazer um, to make it more formal, the outfit. And the shoes really make a difference. I am wearing these sandals or chunk heels, I would say, from Shein. I'll link it down below to dress it up. But you can also replace that with some white basic sneakers. I got these at Dillard's for I think $75. They were on sale. And you can buy similar white shoes on Shein. It would work just as fine. But ultimately, this would be a first outfit. The second outfit is a little bit more on the chill side. Um, good for Sunday brunch or just brunch in general with your friends. Um, I got this top at, I believe, Old Navy. And I really like the color. The color brings out kind of the season. It's also a mint green with white. And I decided to dress it down with some um, sneakers. I'm wearing these Adidas kind of retro look sneakers. And you can also wear some sandals with it if you're not really feeling the sneakers vibe. So this is the second outfit. The third outfit is definitely more formal. So on the formal side, you can tell by the square neck. I got this shirt from Marshalls, but it's basically a boho looking shirt. Um, it goes perfect with this white dress. You can wear heels with these. I got these at Shein and I'll go ahead and link it down below as well. And you could just wear regular sandals if you're really not feeling heels. You can wear platform sandals or toe, uh, these like open toe sandals or even flats. I don't have flats at the moment, so this is how I dress the third outfit. Fourth outfit is just a regular t-shirt. Um, I would recommend having a shirt over this dress so you can tuck the shirt in just like I have done and this will allow it to kind of flow a little bit more and it's not super loose on you um, so having a shirt over is definitely going to help support that look and then you can wear whatever sneakers you see fit um, this shirt has a lot of colors in it so I just chose a basic white sneaker look but again um, 
you can pick whatever t-shirt and whatever shoes you want but the fact that this dress can pull off a skirt look is amazing the fifth look is really just a nice little cardigan um, i think this is a super cute sunday look if you're not really trying to dress up like i did originally with the blazer you can wear a really cute pastel sweater i like the pastel pastel lavender on this white dress i think it brings out you know a look that's formal but not too crazy like business casual i would have to say and you can wear sneakers and you can also wear this outside of church but if you wanted to wear it in church you can wear it with some really nice sandals or heels like i have and for the sixth outfit i wanted to be a little fun my husband's from mississippi and so i I've gone to a lot of rodeos and I've been in the South even though I grew up in Maryland and I absolutely love my cowgirl boots and so I dress this up more as a country look. I absolutely love the country look. I don't know what it is but it's just super comfortable. So I just threw on a jean, a regular jean jacket over this dress and put cowgirl boots on. Like you cannot go wrong with cowgirl boots. You can wear them in church, you can wear them outside of church, you can wear them to rodeos. Like it is, there's no hit and miss here, okay? So I'll be implementing a lot more uh, kind of those looks if you guys really want to see those please let me know but this ultimately is a six look okay you guys those were all the outfits I have for you again I hope this gives you an idea of what you can do with just one dress one solid color dress it could be flowy it could be uh, bodycon I think the flowy look looks better however because you're able to kind of replace that dress with a skirt if you put a shirt over it people are automatically going to think it's a really nice skirt so pick a dress or look out for one dress that you really like that you know you can pair a bunch of your shirts with okay and then you can make endless endless outfits on it so i really hope you guys appreciate this video i am back on doing modest lookbooks my style definitely has changed whereas before it was i feel like it was a little bit basic but now that I've been exposed to different cultures and just like been in different areas of the world, I am obsessed with just trying new things. And so I am going to be a little bit more different and hopefully it's good different. Um, and I will bring you guys along with me so that you guys can kind of understand, you know, your style better. Everyone has different styles, completely understand that, but there's always, you're never going to know a style that looks good on you unless you try it okay don't shut the door on anything make sure you try it anyway i hope you guys have a blessed day and i'll see you next time bye